Okay. So about 45 days before my 10th board exams, I got my prelim math paper score and it was a shocking 67%. It broke me and I felt hopeless. My boards are ruined. I love science and math, but what went wrong? So my friend's elder brother, who was an engineer, offered to help me. What I discovered about how to study numerical subjects and the mistakes that I was making changed my life. I went on to score 93% in my boards, which at my time was pretty good. I did a three-year honors program in economics, which was largely a numerical subject. Many years later, I wrote a book in math, and I also taught math to students in my spare time. Today, I teach math at Vyjus. How did all of this happen? Let's find out. Hey there, this is Chetna, and you're watching Chet Chat. It's a Friday once again, and today, we're going to talk about some of the biggest mistakes that stop us from excelling at math and science and in fact all numerical subjects and this content by the way is also available as a podcast on skill up with chat chat which is available exclusively on spotify the link is in the description box mistake number one rushing into the problem Oftentimes, we are so worried about numerical questions that the moment we see a set of numbers, we start applying a formula and calculating some results. Here is what I learned to do. First, just take a step back. Look at the question a second time. Notice a pattern in the numbers. If two numbers are multiples of the same number, or are there a few square numbers in the questions, that might be a clue. Next, ask yourself, what are they asking for? Is it a percentage discount? Is it an angle of throw? Is it the coordinates of a point? Focusing on the exact ask will help our brain understand. Is it a large number or a small number? Is it in degrees or in dimensions? This visual paraphrasing of the question primes the brain to look for the exact solution and it also prevents silly mistake. For example, the last time they asked for profit percentage, how many of you wrote selling price and came? Tell me. Mistake number two, the Einstellen effect. Einstellen effect, like Einstein. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? This happens when you already have an idea in your mind, which prevents a better idea from being found. Now, I read this in Barbara Oakley's book, A Mind for Numbers, How to Excel in Math and Science. Barbara says that the biggest mistake that students sometimes make in learning math and science is jumping into the water before they learn to swim. So they blindly start working on their homework problems without reading the textbook, without attending the class, or without finding out the real and best way to solve a problem and then they practice the wrong approach again and again because someone told them to just practice. Now this makes it harder for them to unlearn and relearn. This was the mistake I made too. I used to skip lectures because I would play basketball matches and I thought math was easy. So I jumped in to solve the problems without learning the best or the real approach. But in those 45 days before my board exams, I went back to the basics. I relearned the best method, which in fact was many times shorter and simpler. And I was just going round and round. Now I will briefly point you to another video that I did recently with methods of Barbara Oakley on how to be good at anything at all. And that too will be very useful to you for excelling in math and science. I'm going to drop a link for you right here and make sure you watch this after this one gets over. Mistake number three, studying too hard. Yes, you heard me right. There is indeed something called studying too hard at math and science. Our brain uses two different processes for thinking. One is the focus mode, the other is the diffuse mode. Now Barbara Oakley goes on to say, that to figure out ways to solve problems, we should focus initially. And then later on, you should turn your attention away from the problem. This moment of free time 
gives the brain the ability to give get a big picture on the problem which could lead us to a new solution so a few hours of math a day is usually enough and next time when you tackle a really tough problem or let's say you find yourself struggling this is a tip i want to give you which i picked up from creativity expert howard grabber he says that one of the three b's will help you do the trick bed bath or bus so either you go to sleep on the bed or you go for a bath or you go onto a bus and the bus could also mean going for a walk or a jog basically do not study 8 hours of math it will freeze your brain mistake number 4 procrastination prelude when you are afraid of numerical subjects what happens you get afraid and then you procrastinate baad mein karenge we keep pushing it till the last minute now when we procrastinate what happens you tend to make mistake number 1 which is what rushing into the problem why because you did not do the big picture diffuse mode thinking and then we start struggling with the problems stress levels go up and it's one big mess so study math and numerical subjects for 1 hour every single day all 365 days of the year come what may that is the best way to excel at math and science mistake number 5 lack of sleep what if i told you that simply being awake creates toxic products in your brain so sleep is very important to help you figure out difficult problems so if you have trouble working on a problem i would just lie in bed with an open notebook and a pen and i would just write down some thoughts or scribble around the problem maybe i would try to visualize a solution or draw a diagram and then slowly i would try to fall asleep as i fell asleep many times i would wake up and find a totally new way of looking at the problem many times we just get so worked up that we just can't take that afternoon nap on these days i would be in bed and i would focus on my breathing and start chanting any kind of prayer chant or i could even recite the gayatri mantra in my head basically focus your attention on something repetitive i could set my alarm for 20 minutes later and get a quick power nap this gave my brain a little reboot so there you have it the five big mistakes that i was making and i think maybe some of you could also be making that stop you from excelling in math and science and basically in any numerical based subject so if you get over this sort out those five mistakes i assure you that you will excel in math and science it's really really easy everyone can do it and you can do it too and in the meantime happy learning